Okay, if you're looking for a racket and you don't know what racket to buy, I've got some advice for you that I think is the most important advice that nobody ever talks about. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. Uh, you see a lot online, especially Reddit, our badminton and Badminton Central, people asking for racket recommendations. And honestly, it kind of drives me nuts because it's like you can't ask strangers to help you choose a badminton racket. It's like a, it's like a mattress. I can't say, oh, I'm an adult female that likes to sleep eight hours a night. What, what mattress should I use? Because some people like hard mattresses, some people like soft mattresses, some people like a soft mattress with a hard top or a hard mattress with a pillow top. Everybody has their own feelings. That's what a badminton racket is as well. Badminton rackets, everybody has their own personal preference and things they like and don't like, so it's impossible for a stranger to know what you would like. Also, if you've been watching my videos at all, you know that I'm not a believer in fancy equipment. I think people put a lot of stock, too much stock, in getting the best racket. We all know there is no the best. You know, they're all made different, different sorts of things that are better for different kinds of people. But it's just like, if you're Momota or Taizu Yin, yeah, you need the latest technology to help you win your game because you're, you're so good and your opponents are so good. But if you're just an average player at an average club, you don't need the latest technology, you don't need the best racket. 10 minutes of footwork practice a day would improve your game a million times more than any expensive fancy racket. Even the best club players, they use a piece of junk as a racket and they kick your butt. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with having the best racket before and I'll say it again. You don't need to buy fancy new equipment. And I think people put too much stock, they spend too much money, they keep trying all these new rackets and then wondering why they're not the best in their club. It's because technique will help you much more than any racket ever will. That being said though, I understand um, if you need a new racket, you know, what are your options available? Like I know a lot of people don't have badminton stores and even so, at a store it comes unstrung and you can't really get a feel for a racket by just picking it up and you know swinging it around a few times in the store. So what is someone supposed to do who has no access to a badminton store and wants to try a new racket? So you can't just tell what kind of racket someone would like based on their you know basic information. I'm a front court female player in my mid 40s. They would recommend something light, something with fast reactions because I don't have to worry about strength so much, I have to worry about speed. But me personally, I love a heavy racket. The rackets that I use tend to be um, preferred by men's singles players. I prefer head heavy, I prefer a heavy racket, like that's just my preference. So maybe you don't live near a badminton shop, but you presumably live with badminton players and play badminton with humans. Maybe not now during lockdown, but at other times. So all you gotta do is ask them. Ask around, borrow rackets, try them out in a game and see what works and what doesn't work for you. And generally, I think you should try them out for a few days before you make the purchase of maybe spending $100, $150 on a racket. And don't be afraid to try some new brands. Like don't just try Yonix or Leaning. Try some smaller brands that people have. And don't be afraid to ask. Today is actually a perfect day for me to try other people's rackets because I'm in dire straits with my rackets. One racket broke, my other racket I'm getting restrung. So I only have one racket now. So it's a perfect opportunity to ask around. What could you need to buy to my? I'm going to try the Victor Aura Speed 90S. Let's see how I play.
verdict on this Victor Aura Speed 90S. Um, actually quite good. We just played last night at my club and tonight we're playing at Aja's club. Um, I played pretty hard last night, so I'm actually quite tired today. So a lighter racket is actually more suitable for me. I prefer heavy rackets. Like I said, I do have some lighter rackets and you know, tonight would be the night to use it because I don't have a lot of strength. So if I can kind of move my hand quicker because the racket is lighter, that's a little better. So this one's working for me tonight. Woman Juan Paiza, huh? Huh? Now I'm gonna play with a Victor Hypernado X900. Also, one tip, if you have a coach, ask them for a recommendation because your coach knows your playing style and your coach can definitely set you up with a proper racket. My coach has recommended every racket except for my Adidas racket. So, no, definitely, if you have a coach that you're close with and is very familiar with your playing style, go for that as well. Hi, Gwei, what are you doing? Hi, Zima. No, Zaili Haida. Nagish Kashida. Wow. 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 This one is a Victor Jet Speed S Natural. Uh, you can tell I play with a lot of Taiwan people because, you know, Victor is from Taiwan, so they're very proud. Let's give this one a shot. This one on the Jet Speed S. Um, for my mood, me too, me too. For my mood, um, it's a little not so good for me. It slowed me down a little. My smashes were better though, but um, I'm not loving this racket. And honestly, it's a whole lot of yellow for me. <laughs> it kept kind of distracting me because it's like so yellow. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you're using someone's racket, um, you know, etiquette, be careful. Don't smack, don't throw it on the ground, try not to smash it at someone else's racket, and you know, if you break it, you buy it, you know? You should definitely buy them another racket if you break their racket. But don't be afraid to ask people. Just say, hey, can I, I'm looking for a new racket, can I try yours for a game? Or, you know, ask your partner, can we switch rackets for this game? Just because rackets, you need to touch, you need to feel, and you need to use them to see if they're suitable for you. So that's my recommendation, and it's something I see people do a lot of clubs, but nobody ever says online, try someone else's rackets, you know? Like, don't just go with someone's recommendation on the internet, spend $150, you get the racket in the mail, and you hate it, you know? Like, that sucks. So try out rackets. Rackets you have to try. You can't just assume you're gonna like something because it looks fancy or it's new or, you know, Taizi Yin or Victor Axelson uses it also. <laughs> Don't use Aja's method. So get your hands on a racket. That is the best advice I can give you. Borrow rackets, try as many as you can, and then spend the money to buy the racket that is most suitable for you. Not gonna be the same for everybody just because they're your same age, your same height, your same gameplay. Not necessarily going to be the same kind of racket. Okay, that's it for me this time. I'm gonna go back and play. We got 
20 minutes left in club night, so I will see you next time on the court. Bye.